Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel and to another video. If you're new here, welcome my dear. Please don't forget to subscribe and of course follow me on Instagram because I like Instagram and I'm sure we can be friends there. Okay, so today is a long, long awaited video and today I'm gonna rate all, all Ariana Grande fragrances. So. Keep in mind, this is not a video just for younger girls, this is a video for all my more mature women, whatever that means. Uh, I am almost 30, so I am probably considered mature already, or am I not? I don't know. Age doesn't really matter when it comes to your lifestyle, when it comes to your choice of partner, when it comes to your job and your fragrances. So guys, let's start. Uh, I am gonna quickly review all of these fragrances, but I'm sure that I already done that somewhere in some video on my channel, but I'm gonna round up a review of each one and I'm gonna rate them from one to five, let's say. I think that's decent. All right, by the way, guys, I know, I know, I have two videos that are long overdue, First one is assumptions about me and I am getting ready mentally to do it. <laughs> uh, I actually, I got like 300 messages from you and most of them were the same assumption. So that's going to be interesting. So stay tuned for that. And the other one is of course the tag that my boyfriend created here on YouTube. And if you don't follow him already, link is down below. And that is me rating your fragrances, my subscribers' fragrances. So I will be preparing that very, very soon, I promise. I know so many of you are waiting for those two. So yes, I promise they will be there. Uh, but today we're gonna focus on Ariana Grande and I'm gonna quickly tell you why I wanna fo focus on her. So the answer is, first of all, I actually find her fragrance to be very, very well done, at least most of them. And I also feel like uh, she herself might have a very good taste in fragrance because I am pretty sure that she really likes Baccarat Rouge from Francis Courjan and that's why she created a note structure that might resemble it. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it in a video. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And I'm gonna start with the fra first fragrance that she released, which is of course Ari. And this is, I don't know, when did I get it? A month ago? I think so. Uh, so this is a hidden gem. It really, really is. It is beautiful, it is fruity, it is sweet, a little bit caramelly, you know, it has that caramel, cozy, warm, very, very sweet undertone. I feel like this is not juvenile, I don't want to say at all, but it's not juvenile as much as you would think. I like the bottle, it's like a nice bomb. I like it, I really do like this bottle. And um, this fragrance lasts for around six two, seven hours if you overspray with moderate projection. And that is very nice for celebrity fragrance. And just as a side note, also what I'm doing her fragrances is that they are quite far away from what we know as celebrity fragrance. You know, I don't get too much alcohol in them. Uh, they are very nice um, in transformation throughout the day. Even if the lasting power of them, of some of them, is not the best, they are still really pretty. So yeah, here you have my reasoning behind this video. So when it comes to Ari, this is very, very pretty. I really wish it lasted a little bit longer, uh, but the issue is with some other as well. Uh, so this one, this one is very flirty. This one is for all my gourmand lovers. To me, it definitely leans gourmand with that like marshmallowy, caramelly feeling to it. Uh, with some fruits at the top, there's also Lily of the Valley. So, you know, it's not that um, girly, it's a little bit more flirty. And I really like that. I think that it's gonna be definitely men appealing if you were worried about that. I think it's perfect for dates. This would be like my daytime, date fragrance and I would give it four and a half out of five. Very, very nice one. 
Alright, then uh, I think she released Sweet Like Candy and I lost the pom-pom. I need to ask my mom to sew it in with that dingle ding uh, back in here. And this one I also like a lot. So this one, this one is not as sweet. It's more of a berry fruity sweetness, a little bit more sour. There's also some marshmallowy hue to it, but it's not as warm. So I'm guessing this will be better for... <laughs> I hate flies and you know when you have all those lights here they are so drawn to it and I feel like they see it from the atmosphere that I have those lights on so annoying anyways um, this one is again more fruity more sour not as sweet and less flirty I would say this one would be perfect for summer nights summer days um, some people say it's even more juvenile. To me, not so much. I totally see my mom wearing it. To me, these fragrances don't really have age if you like sweet fragrances. Do you know what I mean? I think you do. If you like sweet, you're gonna like them. Of course, this is not like, you know, um, Francis Courjan finesse and quality with Tom Ford sex appeal. No, no it's not, it's Ariana, but they're still very very nice in my opinion. With this one I get a longevity around 5 to 6 hours, so a little bit less than Ari. Again, moderate projection and this one is very very cute. If you like more of those fruity sour notes, it's a little bit fresher as well, but still being sweet. Um, you're gonna love this. So this one I would get 4 out of 5. Yeah, very, very nice one. So that's Ari. Okay, next we have my new one. That was the last one I was missing for this video. I just hold it for you. Uh, Moonlight is the one that I was hesitating about the most. I don't know why. I just, I don't know why. I think it's because everyone says it has terrible longevity. And indeed, it lasts for around four hours. Of course, if you overspray heavily and spray on your clothes and your hair, it's gonna last a little bit longer, but maybe an hour or two. Uh, so yeah, it, it really is a little bit of a bummer when it comes to longevity, but it scents itself, it's amazing. It's definitely the most mature out of the three bonds that I just showed you. This one is more vanilla powdery, uh, still a little bit fruity, but definitely on the mature side. Really, really nice one. Mm. It's just so inviting. It's still flirty. I would say it's even more sexy than the other ones. Very, very nice one. Yeah, you definitely get more of a mature vibe, you know? And just because the longevity is quite worse than the other two, I would give it 4 out of 5. If the longevity was better, I would give it 5 out of 5. But here we have a tie between these two, uh, I would give it still 4 out of 5. So this one is perfect if you don't like things that are super fruity and sweet. This is more powdery vanilla sweet, if you know what I mean. So here we have caramelly, um, a little bit floral sweet. Here we have fruity sour sweet. And here we have powdery vanilla sweet. So yeah, I hope I make sense. So we are done with the bonbons. Now we are moving on to the newer fragrances. I know she is releasing a new one very, very soon, God is a woman, and I totally agree with the statement, and I will be definitely getting it. I cannot wait, and I hope that she will release more and more, and I hope the bottles are better. Because with these three that I have here, I'm not the biggest fan of bottles. And the first one is, of course, Cloud. And I must say, I'll be completely, completely honest with you. This is definitely my favorite fragrance out of them all. If I could only have one, I would probably choose this. Just because it really reminds me of Baccarat Rouge 540 with added coconut. Of course, it's sweeter, it's more girly, it's not as sophisticated, you know. Uh, it's more down-to-earth of a fragrance. 
uh, but you still get that whiff of Baccarat from time to time. Uh, it's lavender in here. Uh, it still leans a little bit gourmand, but I would mainly say it's like a coconut with Baccarat vibes. Kind of sweet. And this one with longevity is very, very nice. On me, it has seven hours of longevity and moderate projection, but I definitely get a lot of compliments when I wear it. And this one I am giving five out of five because, yeah, I'm just not going to lie to you and keep you waiting. This one is definite favorite. It's just fantastic. And when I'm out of this one, even though I have so many fragrances, I will be surely repurchasing. Mm, it's so cozy and fluffy. It's like fluffy. You just want to... It's like a cloud, really. It's like a cloud. It's warm. It's inviting. Uh, but still sexy and very interesting. So even if it's sweet, it's still very interesting. So that's cloud, five out of five. Um, then we have, which one was next? I think, thank you next. <laughs> so here we have, thank you next. And at first I really hated this fragrance because it has a very strong pickle note in it. And I was very hesitant about it as well. And I must say, I got it again for this video and I got it and I started spraying myself and look how much I already used within the last month. And even though I still get those pickles, I'm not gonna lie, I still do. But as I said before, if you have never eaten or smelled pickles, sour pickles, you'll probably never get that scent from here. Because again, fragrance is not what you smell, fragrance is experience and memories. So yeah, uh, I unfortunately am very aware how people smell and taste like, so I do get that smell. And what is absolutely astonishing about this fragrance is that it kind of goes away quite quickly. I only smell it when I initially spray it. Actually, let it be the scent of the video. Yeah, and I immediately get like dill and sour pickles, like basically that water that stays in pickles. But as soon as it's on your skin and as soon as it's drying down, you get coconut, coconut, coconut and some rose. It is amazing as it dries down. And I must say, I think this one is the strongest out of the bunch the most long lasting and the most projecting. Whenever I am wearing this, immediately I get compliments from people at the shop, from my mom, whoever smells me, they always, always compliment this. So it cannot smell like pickles because people will tell me, come on, I'm in Poland, everyone knows pickles. So they will tell me. This one to people smells absolutely divine and this is mainly a coconut smell. This is just coconut, sweet coconut with some additional notes, but it's mainly coconut. Very, very nice as it dries down. The longevity is around eight hours with moderate to high projection, depending on how you spray. So this one, for the opening, I need to put a point down, uh, but for the longevity, I have to put a point up. So I would give it four and a half out of five. So there you have it. I said I hate it. I said don't buy it. But now I must say I changed my mind because I worked with this fragrance. And it is going to be absolutely fantastic uh, if you love coconut. If you love fragrances like La Nuit Trésor Nude, the new one, the coconut one, you're going to love this. Just be aware that um, the pickles go away. So don't worry. They really, really do. And they do very quickly. Also, I love this for mixing with other fragrances because I really like having a coconut base. So I add it into my other gourmands or other fragrances that I really want to have some coconut in. So that's Ariana Grande, four and a half out of 10 for longevity, for projection and for the mixing ability. Fantastic. Just go through the opening. And now we have the last but definitely not least, we have Ariana Grande Ariam. And I cannot with this fly, guys. This is so annoying. I'm so sorry. Like, if you guys, for a 
second thought that I am a dirty person because I have a fly in my apartment. I really am not. I'm like super super clean and I suffer from OCD so I clean and disinfect all, all the time. But I live in the countryside and they just come through my window and it's too hot to not have it open. So I'm so so sorry that a fly is flying around. I did shower twice today and I will in a second as well. I'm sorry, I feel so embarrassed. Anyways, this is Ariam. And scent-wise, I must say, I think this is the most interesting out of them all. This could be designer or even niche, if not the longevity. Uh, so this one, I know some people don't like it. Uh, this one is very like a boyfriend t-shirt kind of vibe. It opens up with a lot of lavender, but it's like a powdery sweet lavender. There is some zephyr sweets to it. It is sweet in essence, yes, uh, but it has a slight unisex touch to it, which I am here for. This also kind of reminds me of Katy Perry's Indie. If you like Katy Perry's Indie and that whole vibe, like a musky, a little bit unisex vibe, but still sweet and creamy and cozy, you're gonna adore this. Uh, this is perfect for sleep. This is very, very calming, you know, lavender, obviously, the name REM, obviously, uh, but it still gives you some sexiness. It's very unique. It's just fantastic. I think these two, Cloud and REM, are the most unique, uh, with this one being even more unique because it goes into unisex direction. I know she had one unisex fragrance which was called Frankie, but I didn't get my hands on it. I'm sorry, this is the only one that I couldn't get. Um, but I think this one is fantastic alternative if you like more unisex fragrances. It is so sweet, don't get me wrong, but I totally see men wearing that as well. And I really want to see how it turns out on my boyfriend. Just beautiful. It is just beautiful. It's definitely less sweet than all the others. It's the least sweet out of them all. Uh, if you don't like too sweet, this is, I think, the only Ariana that you would love. And also, again, if you like more of those unisex vibes, you know, like this sexy kind of musky feeling, this is your gem. So, the longevity is the only bummer. I mean, I think the longevity is not as bad because it's around like 5-6 hours. But the projection is low, you know, it's more of a close to the skin fragrance. I don't really get compliments with this. I mean, I did get compliments from my mom, but that's just mom and that's it. And you know, it's just when she hugged me that she smelled it. So it doesn't project too strong. That's the only bummer. I really wish it was stronger. If it was stronger, it would be my signature because I love it that much and it's that unique. Uh, but it's also very versatile. It's perfect for any time, any moment, any age, any weather. And yeah, it's just fantastic. If you love lavender, lavender, uh, you're gonna adore it. It's just such a nice fragrance. Mm, just beautiful, just beautiful. So just because the longevity is not the best, I mean the projection mainly, I would give it four and a half out of five, just because of the performance. But uh, if it was better, I would give it 10 out of 5. I really, really would. So here we have it. These are all the Ariana's. So just to sum up for you very quickly, this is caramelly, a little bit floral, fruity fragrance, but mainly like a caramel gourmand to me on my skin, like marshmallow caramel with some lily of the valley, but still sweet. Uh, good performance. Then we have sweet like candy, this is more sour sweet, um, not as good with performance as Ari, but still decent. Then we have Moonlight, bad performance but beautiful powdery vanilla fragrance. Then we have Cloud, my absolute favorite, 5 out, five out of 5, beautiful, if you love Baccarat you're gonna love this. Then we have this one, if you can go through the opening, just the opening, uh, and you love coconut, this is gonna be your gem, perfect for mixing with others. And then we have REM, the most unique one, uh, the most fantastic one, 
and the least sweet one, but it's closer to the skin. So that is that, my lovelies. I really hope you enjoyed it. Tell me in the comments below which one is your favorite Ariana Grande fragrance. And if you like Ariana Grande at all, please let me know. Uh, I would love to hear from you and I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video. Bye.